According to Greek and Latin mythologies, nymphs are deities connected with nature. They dwell in nature and are free to go wherever they want. There are several types of them based on the places they dwell in. Which type is associated to your personality? Take this quiz from Buzzmoy to find that out. When you're ready, let's begin. Question number one. First off, which of these creatures do you like most? Gollum, goblin, elf, or orc? Here are the points. Make sure to keep track of them. Question number two. Which element do you feel more connected to? Water, wood, earth, or air? Count up the points. Number three. Choose the word that describes you most accurately. Divine, pure, logical, flexible. Here are the points. Number four. Which of these would be the best habitat for you? Sky, forest, sea, mountain. Your points. Question number five. Which profession seems more challenging to you? Engineering, teaching, nursing, freelancing. Count the points. Number six. What is one thing you can't live without? Internet, music, friends, or books? Your points. Question number seven. Finally, what's your favorite cuisine? Chinese, Italian, Mexican, or French? Here are the points. Yes, you answered all the questions. Time to find out the final result. Seven to 11 points. You got celestial nymphs. Celestial nymphs live in heaven and are often known as the spirits of the clouds. These heavenly creatures are youthful and elegant and excel at the art of dancing. They are known for their exceptional beauty. Oria, Astere, Nafel are some examples of celestial nymphs. 12 to 17 points, you got wood nymphs. Wood or forest nymphs are identified with particular species of trees. They live in trees and their bodies become part of the trees they inhabit. Dryads and hemadryads are some popular wood nymphs. Dryads are believed to be immortal and live forever, whereas hemadryads live as long as the trees they inhabit. 18 to 23 points, you got water nymphs. These fascinating supernatural creatures are believed to inhabit the freshwater streams, wells, springs, fountains, wetlands, rivers, and even the sea. Water nymphs were regarded as the divine nurses and the protectors of the young. They had extremely long lifetimes, but they weren't considered to be immortal. 24 to 28 points, you got land nymphs. Land nymphs are linked to particular geographic locations. Orades inhabited mountains and ravines. Alsades in glens and groves. And alunades are found in pastures and mountain valleys. They were the patrons of travelers who they helped through dangerous mountain passes and hills. So how was the test? Can we get a like for our efforts? The comment section is all yours. Let us know what you got by commenting down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Buzzmoy for more videos like this.